So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how we can change our app icons on really any iPhone out there. Now doing this is actually very easy and this is one of my favorite tutorials to do because it's so creative. Now this is not my setup, I just found this setup online, but you can kind of get the idea and essentially to do this it's actually very simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the Siri Shortcuts application installed on your phone. Now this is pre-installed on any iPhone that you buy, so as long as you didn't delete it, you should have it. It looks like this. If you don't have it, you could just go inside of your app store and download it this way. It's a very easy install. Now once you have that application installed, now is the fun part. We can go ahead and find app icons that we can go ahead and use. Now there's a few places where you can buy app icons. What I typically do is I just go up here and I just type in like iPhone app. I literally search up iPhone aesthetic app icons just like this and you can go ahead and just find whichever one you like. In this case, I usually just find the basic ones. There are some icons where they're just like one icon. If you can't find it, you can just search for individual icons. So here's like an aesthetic camera icon. So we can go and just utilize like this TikTok one, for example. So you can go ahead and just download whichever one you want. So save the photos. So we'll be using that as an example. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure we have the shortcuts application open so we can go and open it like this and we want to create a new automation. So we can do this by clicking here or we can click the plus icon up here and we can go ahead and what we want to do is we want to add an action for open an application. So we can click add action right there and we can go and click search for and we can just type in open. Now when you type in open it usually will automatically just open up this one so we can just click there. Now at this point you want to go and click on open app. And now what we're going to be able to do is choose that application we want to open. So that icon, want, you know, we want to correspond it to that application. So we can just find TikTok like right here. We can click on TikTok. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and click this share icon. So we can click the share icon and we need to find this little add to home screen option. So click add to home screen. And when you're here, you are almost done. What you want to do is you want to click this X that's next to this new shortcut, whatever. You want to click there and you want to change this to whatever that application name is. So in this case, we'll just use TikTok. And then right here where it shows us the little icon, you want to click on that icon and it's going to allow us to choose a photo of our liking. So we can go ahead and click on choose photo right there. And what will happen is we can go ahead and choose that TikTok icon that we had just downloaded. So we can click right there and it's going to allow us to click into this icon. So now what we can do is we can click choose. And as long as that icon looks pretty good, you can click add, and that is it. If we go and hop out, you will now see that we have this app icon right there, as well as tons of other icons that I already made. I forgot about those. So now look at what happens. If we click here, it'll go ahead and open up the TikTok application, and that is all we had to do. Now, we do have that little pop-up that comes up at the top, if you, but it isn't that annoying, and I believe there's ways to turn it off, but that's essentially how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.